All right, questions. Let's throw them down. Okay, so Marky, when creating a texture artist portfolio, do studios prefer making your own props, environments, uh, characters? Let's see here. I would say probably one of the best examples is Ben Wilson's portfolio. If you want to be a texture artist, this is this is it right here. I mean, look at that. Look at that face. That's that's confident texture artist face. <laughs> um, you can see even early on, like, this is a while ago, right? This is two years ago. This is, and this is Forza Horizon. Let's see if we get down far enough. Sorry, I'm just spam scrolling. There we go. Maybe it's in this one. Yeah, see this? Even early, early on in what he's doing, he seems to be obsessed with textures. He seems to like textures or the the process of uh, material interaction between materials, right? He's got an interest with materials. This was two years ago. And he's, he's also, when you see this, you're like, oh, this guy's, okay, this guy's technical. Okay, okay. Then, fast forward up here, like he's doing these, these are substances, that's fucking crazy. So this, if you want to be a texture artist, this is what you need to do. I know having like obligatory tons of spheres is probably not the best way to be representing your portfolio, but look at his variety. His variety is super strong and uh, early on his substance work was being fed into things like this. He's modeling some stuff and then applying substances to it and then trying to get those to read right. And the obsession with roughness and getting those to read correctly and how the material was created, painted, molded, formed, aged, is all in the roughness. So this wall, for example, that's I can tell that this is concrete because of these lines here. I can tell that the concrete was poured in a framework made of wood because of the wood grain here. And the roughness and the color is telling me that after all of that, it was painted. Like there's three things that tell you exactly how the material was put together in reality, which leads and makes the mind believe what they're seeing, even though they know it's 3D. In the floor, it might be giant fingerprint uh, normals and stuff on there. But like, you know what that is, is the, uh, uh, when they lay down concrete on the ground and then they have someone, uh, that's, that's down on their knees. That's, that's scrubbing with, uh, flat pallets to kind of smooth out and give like a, a scratch pattern that's coming through that. That's that scratch pattern that he's trying to do the wax on wax off pattern. Dynasty just went full science. <laughs> Look at the subtle variation in the brick edges too. Like that's, that's materials, man. Look at down here too, see that line? There's a line right here. At that line is when they started laying canvas on the surface of the wall. So then the canvas takes over and then it's just about the imperfections in the canvas material that, that give the roughness variation. Concrete Lessons of Dynasty. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. That's so funny. Now, the other thing that's really important about that scene is see these materials, right? When you look at all these materials, you're like, yeah, these are all, these are all really nice. This one's super cool. These are all really nice, though. But you know what's making them really good? is how different they are from each other in the roughness range. Like that, that roughness 
variation between them is what's bringing that variety to the scene that really makes like that's what makes something look real and physically based is when you have the contrast like this the way this is receiving light versus how this is receiving light and how this is diffused here and then seeing it going down the hall magic man fucking magic Anywho, Ben Wilson, man, he's like the master of like uh, obsessive material control. Like this one blows my mind. So this this is like uh, this is a good example of pushing a tool to feed your creativity versus trying to use the tool to create something that the tool can create, if you know what I mean. Like when I saw these curve shapes, when I see these curve shapes, I was like, wait a minute, how the fuck did he do that? He must have sculpted those or modeled them and then took the height map and then placed it in there. And I messaged him and he sent me the graph, man, and he's straight up everything in here, including the leaves, is all made in that, in substance. It's, it's crazy. It is crazy. But yeah, it's it's just understanding how something is put together and being able to recreate shapes. If you can recreate shapes and then uh, put something together to the point where someone can look at it and understand how it's kind of put together as if it was built in real life, that's like the, that's the answer to like believable materials and or buildings or structures like you're building buildings in in 3d and stuff and you're like why doesn't this look right it's probably because the scale is wrong or the size of your doors versus the size of the windows or like does the building have a base to it does it does it look like it's on a foundation is there like there's there's a whole protection layer that happens on the on the bottom floor of a building that no one tends to think about like bumpers so that cars when they hit a building like what happens is there a system in place for that there totally is totally totally is anywho super rant how's uh how are you guys doing we got 30 minutes and i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna be talking to you guys in chat pro blue thanks man and thanks for the follow crits crits let's do crits all right, where are we at? We're just gonna we're just gonna start at the bottom. This is a pretty ad hoc cr critique. Uh, just I'm just gonna start scrolling through. Actually, so let me let me do it like this. going to go to the discord on here we're going to close all these we'll leave those ones because i'm looking at those so for people that are new here uh we have a discord if you exclamation mark discord you can get the link to it uh when you post stuff in art related normally i'll have like a hashtag that i'll say for the day when i'm going to be streaming and then i search that hashtag up here and then whatever comes up, I just critique those for about an hour. Uh, but because today is such a weird kind of format, I'm just going to kind of go through these. So I'm going to switch over real quick. Uh, 